Hello everyone, my name is Zachar as always, and today I am doing a tier list of every single Five Nights at Freddy's game, not including the Ruined DLC, since that's an extension of FNAF Security Breach. So let's start off with the OG Five Nights at Freddy's, obviously, S tier. FNAF 2 is interesting with me because I also really enjoy this one, new animatronics and everything, just wonderful. FNAF 3, um... It only really has one animatronic. Phantoms are kind of lame. Um, introduction of Springtrap, though. If it didn't have Springtrap and it was just a random animatronic as the only one, it would go into B, but A. It introduced the main villain in the FNAF franchise. FNAF 4 is another... is Well, I, don't, I really don't want to put FNAF 3 and FNAF 4 on the same tier, but I'm going to have to put them both on A. No, yeah, B. All right, Ultimate Custom Night is going to go on to A. Every single FNAF character ever, or at that point, even though there wasn't really every single character. But all right, Help Wanted, a solid A tier game. Pizzeria Simulator, very important to the lore, but some of the designs weren't that good. B tier. All right, Sister Location. This I know a lot of people don't like this game. I really enjoyed it. Um, Sister Locations, A tier. FNAF World, um, I don't, know, I don't know, it's an RPG, it's, it's whatever, I mean, it's FNAF World. Alright, um, this game is a, it's a mobile game. I didn't care for it, I guess, well, D. Alright, uh, Freddy in Space, C. Pete, alright, um, this one, alright. Also, on C, it had a lot of bugs. Even though it was cool, it still had so many bugs. It had so many problems. It just goes up there. All right, Fury's Rage. I made a tier just for Fury's Rage. F minus. Pop Goes Arcade. This is not a FNAF game, so I'm not going to tier it. But here, this is my Five Nights at Freddy's game tier list. If you all enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.